Hey guys, I'm going to make another tutorial on uh, Denise Dragon, naturally speaking, and the command browser. Uh, if you don't know what it is or how it works, um, just gives you a little bit easier way to code Denise uh, using it. Uh, I'm going to make this as quick and as easy as possible, and uh, you can come up with your own um, things to do with it, and it works just the same. So. I'm going to go ahead and get started. First and foremost, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to search your computer if you don't have it on the desktop. I have Windows 8.1, so it's easy for me, but you can just do a search in like Windows 7 or whatever else you have. You type CMD. Now, when you type CMD, two things are going to come up. You're going to have your command prompt and also the CMD browser, which is short for command browser. You're going to go ahead and open the command browser. Uh, I already have it open, so it's all right. Now, using this tool, it is the easiest way to code Denise versus the traditional AIML coding, which you have to actually learn the language to 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 do. And Sir, sorry to bother you, but you have an incoming email. Okay, I got an email. Um, that was on my phone, not not my computer. Anyway. Um, forgot where I was oh yeah so <laughs> you can use this command browser to code Denise uh, without having to learn AIML and it's it's fairly simple now if you do not have the standalone and just have the regular Denise with a regular internal dragon you still have this personally I also have the standalone uh, working side by side with her uh, but that's another story. We'll get into that another time. The only reason why I do that is because uh, it gives you one additional option it, that you don't normally have if you have just the internal dragon. So having said that, you can still use it. You still have it. Just search for command browser and open it. Now, um, if it looks like this or if it looks like this, just go here to mode and click script and this is your script. Okay. And you can see, if you saw my previous video, you saw, uh, it says adjust the temperature, how about some music, I feel like writing, monitor my calls, and then I use macros with a macro recorder to turn the temperature down and also up. So um, we're not going to pay any mind to that, and uh, we're going to make a completely brand new script. So we're going to go here to script and click new. Now this little command editor box will pop up and um, let's say that we're going to use Firefox okay and the good thing about this is the keyboard shortcuts are already right here it says control Z control Y control X those are keyboard shortcuts okay um, let's see here um, let's do an easy one okay let's start off with this one now in order for the browser to do this to highlight the address bar um, it doesn't show it up here on the menu but I, I do know the keyboard shortcut it's control hold down control and L and it will highlight that so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have her do that so I'm gonna go here and um, Let's see what can I what can I say? Uh, go to page. So every time I say go to page, she's gonna do the keyboard shortcut Control L, which highlights the entire field in the address in the address bar. So I'm gonna type in go to page. Go to page uh, is the my command name is that is what I'm going to say in order to trigger this. So I'm gonna go ahead and train. And I'm going to hit go, and then I'm going to say go to page. I can hear you. Go to page. Okay, I've never seen that. Let's try it again. Ugh. go to page okay finally it did it I, it never fails I make videos and I I get some always 
some error messages or whatever. So I said go to page and I trained it. I clicked go and I set it and um, it did it. So now it's trained. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Okay. Now I can put it in a group. I can make my own group to be a little bit more organized. Like I have a group for my nest or, or dragon. This is going to be a new group. I'm going to name it Firefox. Okay. <clears throat> now with global application specific or window specific, you have the availability and uh, basically global is it doesn't matter where you are on the computer if you're um, giving focus to Firefox or not, whatever you do will be global. For this particular one, I'm going to say window uh, application specific, and I'm going to choose Firefox. Okay, now I'm all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to command type, and I'm going to go to step by step. Now, when I say go to page, I want her to click Control L. So I'm going to go down here to new step and what I'm looking for are keystrokes because I want her to actually hit control and L at the same time uh, so I'm not gonna open app I'm not gonna wait I'm not gonna type text I'm not gonna send keys stop listing I'm going to con go to keystrokes and click insert now it's gonna say send keystrokes press the keystrokes you want to send uh, you may also use control shift and alt also so I'm gonna hold down control and L click OK and for this particular thing that's all I want so I'm gonna hit save let's try it out okay I'm going to click on this which is not up here it's it's here wake up I can hear you go to page maybe that was a bad example Go to page. www.hotmail.com Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Now, you see that it worked. However, I did this on purpose because I wanted to prove a point. Notice it said the website I wanted to go to because I said www.hotmail.com however it doesn't do anything after that that's the reason why I did it like that to show you you're gonna have to do something else when you have to make an edit to a script you're going to just find the script uh, global commands Firefox go to page so I'm gonna highlight go to page and click edit so she does that so I'm gonna want her to click enter obviously because I want her to go to that page um, well now that I think about it it might not be a good idea to click enter because I have to say the address of the website and then click enter so maybe Instead of editing editing that, I'll make a new one and say go. She knows what go means, so I'm, I don't have to uh, train her. So I'll click Firefox, step by step. Insert keystroke, and I'm gonna press enter. All right. So I'm going to say go to page and she's going to highlight the address bar. I'm going to tell her what address I want to go to and then I'm going to hit I'm going to say go and then she's going to press enter. And that should take us to the web page. So let's do it real quick. Okay. Let's try it out. wake up I can hear you go to page www.twitter.com 
twitter.com. Go. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Now you see it worked. Uh, and actually that worked better than me having to edit the go to page one because it would have messed up because I would have said go to page and then I would have had to tell her what page I wanted to go to. If I would have edit this to wait a certain amount of time and then press enter on its own, it probably would not have worked. I mean, it would have worked, but it probably would have uh, not worked out very great because I would have been required to say uh, that website in a short amount of time. So instead of having to limit myself with time, I just made a completely new one that said go. Uh, and whenever I'm ready, whenever I tell her what page I want her to go to, uh, I just hit the go. I just say go and she goes. Well, in, this, in, in turn, she basically just presses enter. So that is that. That's how, that. It's that simple. Now, if you have any program, literally any program that uses keyboard shortcuts, you can use this method and you can interact, Denise, with that program. Uh, there's more than than that. I mean, there's other things you can do, and and you're gonna have to play with it. I mean, um, for example, I'll show you my adjust the temperature. Now, this this is a command I I use to where I want her to adjust the temperature in my home uh, using my Nest Smart Thermostat. So let's click Edit, and I'll show it to you. Now. What she does is she launches Firefox. Actually, she waits 50 milliseconds. She launches Firefox. Then I have her wait 250 milliseconds, which is about two and a half seconds. Then I have her press Control L. And what Control L, if you remember, I just said it, it highlights the address bar. Control L. After that, I wait about half a second. Then I have her type the address for the uh, to be able to control my nest, and then uh, I have her hit enter. So let's do this real quick. I'll show you. Wake up. I can hear you. Control. The, I said control. Uh, hold on. Adjust the temperature. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Okay, uh, this is how... I can hear you. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Okay, the I can hear you. <sighs> Hold on. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Okay, I think my microphone works a little too well. <laughs> anyway, uh, with the Nest you can control the nest on the internet going to this website and logging in um, this is how I get her to adjust the temperature in my home and if you use the mouse you can make it go up or down in real time um, when I did that in my previous video I had used the macro recorder because there's no keyboard shortcut to my knowledge to how to make it go up or down so that that's a that's a that's an example as to why I use the macro recorder with the standalone, but that's that's another story. But you saw, you saw that she opened she she opened a new Firefox browser. She waited, then she controlled Z, and that was highlighting the address bar. Then I had her wait. The reason why I have her wait is because I want I want the system to catch up. I want the computer to catch up. I don't want her to do all these back to back to back to back to back because my computer's not fast enough to to um, to do everything just like that. So I have her wait a little while. It just gives her a little time to catch up. Control L, she waited, then she typed in the address, and then she pressed enter, and this is the result. So, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> that is pretty much it and you're gonna have to come up with your own stuff uh, there's plenty of programs out there 
that use keyboard shortcuts. So this could be very beneficial to you. Uh, so I highly suggest that you get into it uh, if you can. And if you actually want to spend the time coding Denise, and it doesn't take long. All you have to do is just search for the keyboard shortcuts uh, on your program and just kind of play with it. And uh, you can get Denise to do all sorts of cool stuff. Anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching as usual. See ya.